हेलो स्टूडेंट वेलकम इन अवर फिफ्थ लेक्चर ऑफ दिस सी एच ए फोर नाइंटी वन सेक्शन वन स्टूडेंट इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव सीन द ऑइंटमेंट्स ओरल पाउडर्स एंड ओरल लिक्विड्स नाउ इन द टूडेज लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द इंजेक्शन एंड पाउडर फॉर इंजेक्शन ओके सो दिस इज द कंटेंट ऑफ द टूडेज लेक्चर इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस about the definition of injection about injection okay then definition of infusion then definition of powder for the injection these three main points we are going to discuss in the today's lecture for this lecture i have used the reference that is indian pharmacopoeia volume second so before starting what is injection we must know for the parental preparation what is this parental preparation we must know it so parental preparation are sterile products intended for administration by injection infusion or implantation into the body okay what is parental preparation it is the sterile product it is introduced in our body either by injection or by infusion or the implantation in our body that is nothing but the parental preparation they may be preparation intended for direct parental administration or they may be parental product for consulting or diluting previous to administration they are five main types of parental preparation means by different five ways we are introducing the sterile product in our body in that namely injection infusion infusion means to directly pour in our body powders for injection concentrated solution for injection and implants okay by this five way we are injecting a sterile product in our body that is nothing but the parental preparation then what are the ideal characteristics of this parental suspension so when we introduce that sterile product in our body what characteristic should have that parental suspension is explained here so the first characteristics is the suspension are manufactured and tested for microbial contamination so as to maintain its sterility during its storage and use okay so in short microbial contamination as well as sterility is maintained avoid the microbial contamination and sterility is maintained during the manufacturing okay it should be easily drawn into the syringe and readily ejected from the syringe means it is easily go into the syringe and easily remove from the syringe okay then the syringeability and injectability of a suspension are closely related to viscosity and particle characteristics so the particle size should be small and uniform resuspension of drug particle should not should occur easily with mild shaking means when we use the bottle we must shake before use right It, uh, warning is given on that bottle must be shake before use so here also resuspension of drug particle should occur easily with mild shaking the dispersed particle do not settle rapidly after shaking resuspension should result in homogeneous mixing of drug particles in such a manner that some concentration of drug can be removed rap uh, repeatedly ek information should not occur during its shelf life the suspension should maintain its stability and eagleness during its shelf life shelf life it should be isotonic and non irritating so these are the ideal characteristics of the parental suspension then we start our main point that is what is an injection injections are sterile solutions emulsion or a suspension they are prepared by dissolving or emulsifying or suspending an active ingredient and 
any other substances in water for injection. Injecting is the act of giving medication by use of syringe and needle to obtain the desired therapeutic effect taking into account the patient's safety and comfort. Okay, when the question asked in the exam what is injection, you must write down these three points. Okay, it is very simple. So, you have to only remember that the injections are sterile solution, emulsion or the suspension. Okay, then we see the test for injection. Which test perform for this injection? Here we we'll discuss injection that are solutions when examined under a suitable condition of visibility are clear and practically free from particles that can be observed on visual inspection by the unaided eyes. Okay, the solution of that injection, it must be clear, it must be visible, it can be easily observed by our naked eyes. Okay, this is the first test. Then injection that are emulsion should not show any evidence of separation and show a uniform appearance after shaking. Means if the injection suspension uh, is emulsion like then when we shake that bottle the uniform appearance is observed by our naked eye. This is the second test. In the third test injection that are suspension. In above case, injections are immersion. In the third case, if the injections are suspension, may show a sediment which is readily dispersible on shaking. The suspension remains sufficiently stable to enable a homogeneous dose to be withdrawn from the container. Means if it is suspension, then immediate a sedimentation is occur. But if we shake that bottle, it is readily dispersed into the clear solution. Homogeneous dose is obtained uh, when we remove the suspension from the container. Okay. So, by this three way, we can test the injection. Okay. By this, we complete the injection. Then, the second point of the today's lecture is infusion. So, what is this infusion? Infusions are sterile aqueous solution or emulsion with water as a continuous phase. It is a sterile aqueous solution or emulsion with water as a continuous phase. They are free from pyrogens or bacterial endotoxins are usually made isotonic with blood and do not contain any added antimicrobial preservatives. Intravenous infusions that are emulsion do not show any evidence of phase separation. The diameter of globulus of the dispersed phase of emulsion must be decided with regard to the use of the preparation. Then after that we see the third point that is powder for injection. Powders for injections are again sterile solid substances including freeze dried material which are distributed in their final containers and which when shaken with the prescribed volume of appropriate sterile liquid rapidly from clear and practically particles free solution or a uniform suspension. Dry powders are available in the market. They are soluble in water for injection or other sterile solvent just previously to use. The meaning of this word prior is just previous. Previous. Okay. Powder for injections are suitable for certain formulation which degrade by hydrolysis. So, Penicillin, ampicillin, amoxicillin, these are the injection, but they are available in the form of powder. 
okay and we dilute that powder in water or other sterile solvent and then we are injected in our body through the injection okay so that is called the powder for injection then what is the uniformity of weight means during the injection what is the uniformity of weight remove the label and wash the container and dry weigh the container along with the content okay empty container empty the container completely rinse with the water and ethanol dry at 100 degrees celsius to a constant weight cool and weigh net weight should be calculated so what exactly the uniformity of weight is there that is shown in this point then which test are performed for this quality control test in that the first is a leakage test clearity test sterility test and pyrogen test by this four test we can quality qualitative control test are performed for the injection so one by one we discuss this test first leakage test in that what they do they take a ampules or the valve uh, containing a sample okay invert the ampules in 1% methylene blue solution means whatever that ampules are there they are invert means put it into the 1% methylene blue solution observe the color of the sample before and after test if the color change occur leakage is present and if the color change do not occur leakage is absent it is very simple test if leakage is there means some contamination is observed that's why the change in color is observed means leakage is present okay by this way we can easily find out the leakage test then we see the clearity test in that by this four way we can study the clearity test first light observe abstraction method then visual method microscopic count method and coulter counter method so first we see the visual method the ampules are placed in a dark place dark background observe the light particles hmm? by our naked eye we can easily observe this light background observed dark particles means dark background and at on the light background we can easily find out light and dark particles okay so but this is a visual method then second microscopic count method a major sample solution is filtered through the membrane filter and particles observed in the microscope under 100 pixel magnification okay so this is the microscopic count method light abstractive method the particles observed in the solution cross the light beam by using the light beam instrument the particles measured and counted okay so here the instrument is used and by that we can easily light abstractive method is done okay then test for sterility sterility is defined as freedom from the presence of viable micro organism so this is the picture by this way we can do the sterility test then the last that is pyrogen test pyrogens are the fever inducing organic substances so what is pyrogen these are fever inducing organic substances the test involves measurement of the rise in body temperature of rabbits following the injection of a sterile solution into ear vein of the rabbit means in the pyrogen test this test it is generally performed on the rabbit injection is given into the vein of ear vein of the rabbit and 
does not exceeding 10 ml per kg injected within injected within a period of not more than 10 minutes test animals should be healthy adult rabbits are used the test is positive when each rabbit shows increase in temperature okay pyrogen means fever inducing organism and these organisms are introduced into the healthy and adult rabbits in the year when of that rabbit 10 ml injection is injected into the rabbit and they observe if the increase in temperature is observed then this pyrogen test is positive okay by this way we can complete the today's lecture in this lecture we discuss what is injection what is infusion and the last what is the powder for injection okay so these points we are we have seen in the today's lecture in the next lecture we discuss what are tablets and what is the shelf life of pharmaceutical product that we will discuss in the next lecture okay thank you